Hello everyone, we are back with another interesting topic and in this video we will talk about what is conditional field formatting in Salesforce. Basically for objects that use the dynamic forms, we can show icons near fields without using any code. So it's a no code solution. So let's start. So starting with the basics as always, we will first discuss what are dynamic forms in Salesforce. Let's discuss what was the requirement of dynamic forms. So before dynamic forms, we used to use page layout. We used to organize our fields in the page layout. So, um, and we used to, uh, based on the page layout, uh, what based on what fields we add on the page layout, it used to get shown in the record detail page. So um, like, let's say you have hundreds of fields. So it, the, uh, the page layout becomes a monolithic block of fields and which you can't customize. Like, let's say you want to show a field based on specific values for another field. With page layout, you could not do that. So it became it became a monolithic block of fields. To uh, to improve that, Salesforce came out with dynamic forms. With dynamic forms, we can migrate the fields and section from page layout to the individual components in the Lightning App Builder. Basically, this way you can configure uh, the fields uh, like uh, across multiple columns and tabs, and dynamically showing and hiding them based on the record data, user details, as well as the device type. Right. So uh, basically so that your users uh, only see the sections they uh, need. What is conditional field formatting? So um, when a dynamic form is enabled for a record, a record detail page, we can enable uh, conditional field formatting. So basically create, we can create a custom visual indicators to call attention to key fields um in salesforce using conditional field formatting so prior to this one had to create a uh, separate custom formula for each custom visual indicator they'd like to display as there was no way to display indicator on the field itself so but as of winter 25 we will be able to configure custom visuals which leverage standing slds icons via point and click wizard directly in the app builder and this is uh, known as the co conditional field formatting so uh, let me show you an image. This is how the conditional field formatting looks. So this is the account page and this is the highlights panel. So let's say you have a field called customer sentiment and uh, you want to show uh, an icon. If it's positive, show a green icon. If it's negative, show a red icon. So uh, here this icon is done without any code and this is a no code solution. Now let's discuss what would be the considerations for conditional field formatting. So you can only apply conditional field formatting to those objects that support dynamic forms. So there are still objects in Salesforce, some standard objects that do not support dynamic forms. So you cannot apply conditional field formatting to that. Um, uh, the icon that that is shown uh, that depends on the rule sets. So basically we had to create some rule sets. So we'll see that in the demo when we go through the demo. Uh, but the consideration is like a lightning page can have up to 15 unique rule sets, not more than that. And a rule set can have up to 10 rules. Single rule set can have up to 10 rules. Uh, similar to that, a rule can only have up to 10 conditions. The icons available for conditional formatting come from the lightning design system. Uh, you can't add conditional formatting to cross object fields, nor you can select cross object fields when creating rules, right? Uh, one interesting consideration is like if you apply a conditional formatting to a field, but it does not appear when the page displays at the runtime, the conditional formatting is not supported for that field. So if you let's say if I created a rule set and uh, um, that f uh, conditional formatting of the I or that icon is not uh, visible at the runtime, uh, conditional formatting is not supported. So what could be the reasons for that? So let's discuss. For example, let's say you have uh, four fields A, B, C, D and the user has only a permission to see two fields A and B. So you, the user goes to a page that contains field A which has a conditional con uh, formatting configured right with two rules. The first rule is based on fields C and D, but since the user does not have the permission to uh, see uh, the FLS for C and D, and um, so that the first rule will not be evaluated for the current user. And the second rule has um, uh, is uh, the second rule has conditions based on fields A and B. Now the user has access to A and B. So uh, since you have two rules now, one first rule has conditions based on C and D. 
which the user does not have access to and the second rule has uh, uh, conditions based on a and b which the user has access to so only the uh, uh, only the rule with uh, which user has uh, access to those fields that would only be uh, configured and other rules would be ignored so basically that's what written here salesforce ignores the outcome of the first rule since the user does not have access to those fields awesome now let's see a demo so uh, I am in my Salesforce org and I've created this fresh Salesforce org so that we do everything from scratch. Uh, now, as I told you first for an object, you need to enable dynamic forms. So how do you enable dynamic forms? Firstly, go to the record page and click on this icon, setup icon and click on edit page. So it will redirect you to a lightning app builder page and uh, has loaded for me and if I click on the I have clicked on the details tab and if I click on this component the record detail component it will show me a message that you can configure record detail sections and fields into a dynamic form so I'll click on upgrade now and it will show me this pop-up and I'll click next so uh, like do you want to use a page layout and convert the page layout feeds into dynamic forms yes I'll choose account layout and click on finish Awesome. So now uh, the details section has fields based on the account layout page and I can configure uh, rules here. So let's say now you want to add a new field. How would you do it? So next to components, you have the fields uh, section. Now within the fields, you can drag and drop the fields uh, here and uh, this would work uh, similar to a page layout. Now my my so my use case is whenever the annual revenue of the account is greater than 300,000, I want to show an icon next to the account name. So when I click on the account name field, you can see that I have this um, uh, drop down enabled and uh, which is known as condition, which is called as conditional formatting. And if I click here, I, uh, it's telling me to create a rule set. So I'll just name this rule set as test. The format is uh, by default selected me as icon. The field is account name and object is account. I'll click on next. I'll select my icon here. So whenever the revenue is greater than um, 300,000, I want to give it a thumbs up, right? I can change the color here as well. Let's say green. And only when the annual revenue is greater than 300,000, right? So I'll click on next and save rule set. Awesome. And I'll click on save. And the changes have been saved. I'll click on back button and let's see if I'm able to see the icon. I'll click on the details and revenue is greater than 300,000 and I can see the thumbs up icon. Awesome. And if I'll change the revenue, let's say, I change it to 3500 and the icon has been removed. Let me change it back. Icon has been added. Awesome. So this works perfectly. So this was all about the conditional field formatting in Salesforce. For now, you can just add an icon, but Salesforce will continuously innovate on this and add new features. So if you want to know about the upcoming features in Salesforce, then do subscribe to my channel and also for more such videos. Thanks everyone for watching.